Best Lux Teriyaki here, and I was going to start my review on the, my G, GeForce GTX 1060, um, the Strix Asus version. So I thought I'd just start on the front. Um, we've got here the Aurora Sinks, we got the cool RGB lighting on the sides, um, and uh, it's got GameWorks, VRWorks, G-Sync, and DirectX 12, so it's pretty, um, pretty good graphics card, good for uh, uh, medium gaming. I'll we'll just start by opening up the box here. Nice boxing. Strix. Strix. Okay, we'll open the first flap. And in the front, we have Asus in Search of Incredible. So, for this, it's, uh, it's a little thing with... It opens up, and... It has the CD for um, uh, the the drivers and stuff that you can download with the CD. Um, it also has some of these uh, uh, chord management um, uh, zip ties, and uh, so that's that's nice. Got that over there. Um, inside, take out all the foam. We have the huge three fan. Hard. It is massive. Let's see if I can uh, pop this open right here. Pop it. Let's take a quick look at this. This beauty. She is huge. Let me look at my hand. So this graphics card is three fans. Spin very nicely. Um, it's got a uh, cool RBG of lighting here and uh, all here. On the top, though, it's got a sweet back plate. It's got a cool hardy and a nice logo here. Um, on the here, we have uh, uh, two display ports, and I'm pretty sure two HDMI ports also, and a DVI port for great gaming and picture. Um, it has um, two fan extenders, too, so you can add two fans to it also. And uh, it fits right into your motherboard perfectly. So this card is a beautiful card. I, I'm glad I bought it. I was looking for a, I was gonna buy a 1070, but that one was a little bit too expensive for me. So I thought I'd go with the midsize, same cool looking card with the 1060. And uh, I think I'll be glad when I build my computer. So yeah.